Well, welcome everyone. I'm Lynn Dornblazer and I'm joined here by my colleague, David Jago. And um, as you can see, we're both um, remote and in different locations, but what we're going to do today is we're going to talk a few minutes about some of the products that we've seen come on the market recently that we've noticed on our Global New Products database. You could call these our um, expert picks of some products that we've recently seen. So the Global New Products database covers new product introductions in 86 countries globally, as many of you probably know, and we cover a very broad range of FMCG, CPG categories. We're looking today at some food and drink products, primarily, that's what we're focusing in on. Um, I think actually today is mostly food products. And Said these are expert picks from some of our analysts and from ourselves as well. So let's go ahead and start with the very first one, which is this one right here. So um, as you can see, this is our Global New Products database. Um, this particular product is a breakfast cereal, but it is Host co-brands it with Hostess Twinkies. Now, for those of you who might not be from the U.S. market, you might not be entirely familiar with Twinkies. Twinkies are, you can see the, the picture on the box. Um, Twinkies are um, little snack cakes that have a um, uh, filling inside. So it's quite interesting that we've seen this kind of co-branding. We've also seen the Twinkies brand show up on coffee, which is really quite unusual. And we've seen other Hostess brands show up on other types of products as well. There are several cereals that have various Hostess brands. I think one of them is their donuts brand. So this really illustrates something that we're seeing in um, a little bit more of recently, which is um, this kind of co-branding with products showing up, product branding showing up in some unusual categories. Yeah, indeed. I mean, we've also picked up recently on a Starburst branded water enhancer. Um, so the Mars Confectionery Starburst brand, and also the Jelly Belly brand going into, um, into, into beverages as well. So just in the last couple of months, we've seen that, that coming. And interestingly, I think it's something we started to see quite a lot of in the last recession, around 2008, 2009, we started to see a lot of co-branding, taking brands in different places. It wasn't, of course, completely new then, but it really speaks about the power of the brand in hard times, when consumers look for something that's more familiar, perhaps feels a little bit comforting and something that works really well for these types of indulgence position brands. Exactly. And they're all also just a little bit fun. You can see by taking a look at the back of the pack here that it talks about Twinkies. There's a really good shot of the Twinkies themselves. Um, and um, as you can see there, there are the donuts and the honey bun um, cereals as well. So it gives you a really good sense of uh, what else the company has done. 